Hey everybody, Jay McDurry here. I'm the owner of the Poor House Bistro in San Jose. And I'm proud to say that uh, we have a great show for you, a benefit and a virtual CD release party for Ron Thompson, live at the Poor House Bistro. So I hope you uh, can get the CD and enjoy this great show with all these great artists and uh, come down to the Poor House soon because every day is a Ron Thompson day. My name is Frank L. Goldwasser. I am a blues singer, guitarist. It was my great privilege to meet Ron Thompson back in 1980. He has been a, a major, major influence on me. I think that he was, without any question, one of the greatest blues artists of our time. And I really mean that. It is a huge honor to have been uh, invited to participate in this little tribute. I hope that my little uh, contribution is helping to keep Ron's spirit live on. So thank you for having me. You know, Ron, you are still in my heart and you always will be. Hey y'all, check this out. This guy used to be known as Perry Slim, but his name is Frank Goldwasser. Check him out, all right? Let's do it. <laughs>
feel alright I feel so good Woo! I wanna move it. Thompson, always have loved Ron Thompson. I saw him play one time at JJ's where his whole guitar was covered with duct tape and the amp was covered with duct tape. It was the greatest sounding guitar and amp I've ever heard. He's like a force of nature. I mean, he's like so real with his thing. There's a gaping hole in the musical world. That, you know, he's not there now, but uh, he's a fantastic person and, and one of the greatest I've ever seen. Chris Kane! <laughs> My baby wants to leave me I can't wait to see her go
Moore gets it. Morris in the Four Rocks Bistro All Stars. He plays me and the Forest with the Four Rocks Bistro All Stars. Hi, Sid Morris here at the Poor House Bistro Studio. We're having the uh, the Ron Thompson show today with all the old friends of Ron. I'm an old uh, South Bay guy from many years ago, and I met Ron back in 1972, introduced by Gary Smith. And actually back then, Ron and I started a little duo that lasted a couple years, and then, of course, he went on to his fame and fortune, and I was lucky enough to get back together with him the last five or six years, playing here on Wednesday nights, and, uh, the event today is to help Ron's family out. And so if you're watching this thing, buy a CD, donate, and God bless Ron Thompson. Yeah, Scott Griffin here. I got to play with Ron for a long time, about 10 years here at the Poor House and at other places. And uh, it was one of the best experiences I ever had. He took me with him so many times out there. Kept calling out songs. I have no idea how many songs he learned. He just kept calling out songs I'd never heard before. It was amazing. And uh, I miss the guy. I miss the guy a lot. He was good to me. Thank you. Thank you. I got you. <laughs> My name's Gary Smith, harmonica player from San Jose, California. Yeah, yeah. We're doing a little thing right now in memory of one of my blues partners from way back. Ron Thompson passed away earlier this year. Put out this live CD that uh, the poorhouse people did. It sounds fucking it sounds great <laughs> and uh, I think it really captured some good moments of Ron's stuff Ron was one of a kind real blues no BS at all and we miss him and we're gonna just keep on playing in his memory so why don't you see if you can pick up this disc support our effort here thank you guess what if I wasn't the drummer I was the but I can't do it as good as Gary Smith can, y'all. Gary Smith. For you to be my wife All I want Is one more chance with you All I want now, baby Is one chance with you All I want One more chance with you I've been around So many years also shed so many tears All I want to be one more chance with you
My name is Dave Chavez, and I really had a great opportunity with Ron. Played with him in the 70s, go to his house, he'd show me how to play his tunes and learned a lot from him. I just want to say, love you, Ron. God bless. Hi, I'm Gary Rosen. I played bass with Ron Thompson at the Poor House for about four or five years. All I can say about Ron, Ron is he's, he's about the most amazing musician I've ever had the, the good luck to play with, get to play with. Just getting to listen to him play while I play, that, that in itself was great because Ron o always knew how everything was supposed to sound. He, he was just the greatest. Hi there, this is Kathy Lemons and I'm here to support this Ron Thompson wonderful show and uh, I've known Ron since 1987 actually and uh, my first I first met Ron uh, at, a, at a show with uh, John Lee Hooker and he didn't want to play with me because he said he didn't know who I was and I was back there shaking backstage but he gave in because John Lee Hooker said la 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 Kathy, Kathy sing so he he got we did down at the crossroads and it was a wonderful, wonderful moment for me to play with the great Ron Thompson. So please support this wonderful show. And I'm so proud to be here to support Ron. He was a true, magnificent giant in blues. Hey y'all, check this out. You know lemons, they not, they're not sour, right? But this lady is sweet as a mug. Kathy Lemons, y'all. Always try, and 
I know you told me so many times that I was going to die being my grave cold and rotten in the ground. That's what you told me, baby. But here I am standing here right now before you, darling. And I mean to tell you. I, so many times you told me I can't find heaven on earth. I'd be cold and rotten and in my grave. That's what you said, baby. Yeah. And I know you used to walk out there on the streets looking for me, baby. And I know you talked about all that money that you spent looking for me, but I'm here to tell everybody my side. He didn't have nothing. He didn't have nothing. And it was up to me to keep us out of the cold and off the street at night. Up to me. Yeah. Ah, but maybe he was looking for me. Yeah. He kind of followed me down. He'd start out on Post Street. And I could hear his footsteps behind me. Follow the click of my high heels on the on the ground. Bring it down, hey! You hear the click of my heels, boys? Now you can. Oh yeah! And he follow me all the way downtown. We start out on Post Street, and we end up all the way down to Market. That's right. Oh, it was a lonely thing. Yes, it was. He used to follow me all around San Francisco. Yeah, like a seller. He started out on Post Street, but I ain't got no best friend to tell him. He's turning tricks now. find heaven on earth until you're dead and gone but I here I stand today you judge me I'm sure you judge me but I want you to play at my funeral you go ahead and play at my funeral Frank you play at my funeral come on his 50 cents and like I said he sure didn't have much well I got home early one night and I walked in our little crack hotel downtown in San Francisco and I, I opened up the door sat on the couch and put up my feet And I could hear his footsteps coming down the hall. Here he comes, oh yeah. You gonna give me that look. And he turned the key. He turned that key in the door. And I know I was probably looking a little funky right then. With my eyes rolling back in my head and such. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and he, 
you know, he had a message to me. He said, I'm gonna pack up my bags and leave you, woman, because I'm tired of looking at you so funky. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore, baby. That's what he said. I'm gonna leave you. Ah, he said, your eyes are all pinned back, baby. I'm not. Oh, you're feeling so good. Oh, yes, yeah. He said, your eyes are all pinned back, baby. You're on the night. Feeling so good, yes you are. Oh, sitting on this cat, baby, done for me then. Surely, truly, surely, Lord, then you could ever could. Oh, that's right. All right, here we go to the end, boys. All right. Yes, I are. Your eyes are in back. Yes, I are. Oh, yeah. uh. All right. I'm Kid Anderson. I've been a fan of Ron since uh, ever since I found out about him about 20 years ago when I moved here to the Bay Area and. Uh, it was pretty much the unanimous uh, opinion of all that Ron Thompson was the baddest head of all stars that was around, and uh, I agreed with that. And I also had the uh, great honor of recording his last two albums, uh, Son of Boogie Woogie for Little Village Foundation, and this new CD that we're celebrating right now, From the Patio, from here right here at the Poorhouse Bistro. I love that guy. I'm sure glad that I got to know him. Hey. I'm Alabama Mike, and it's so good to be here for uh, Ron Thompson benefit. i just like to say about some things I learned about Ron. When I came to California in, in, uh, in, the, in the 80s, early 80s, it was just, it was one white boy that played the blues that everybody told me I had to see. And man, that little white boy, Ron Thompson, man, they, everybody loved him. You got to see him. So, um, it was a, I believe it was at a jam, or it may have been somewhere in East Oakland. It's been a while, so I can't remember. But I seen him, and he had that. He was playing some Elmo James, man, and I mean, he was kidding it like no other. You know, I love Elmo James. From that, that point on, man, I've been a, been a fan of runs, and I love him. He's a good spirit. He always invited me on any set he ever, you know, if I pop up, he. We love the same style of music, so he's gonna be missed because it's not too many people that's playing the, playing the blues like Ron Thompson played it. He played it from his heart and soul, so it was great for me to come here and be a part of his tribute. Thank you. It's Alabama Mike, y'all. <laughs> grows on trees Go on now girl You think that money grows on trees That's why you always pulling on my branches and tugging at my leaves You know you're wrong Now listen you told me, baby, that you were gonna be good, but you steady burning up my money through the neighborhood. You told me, baby, that you was gonna be good, but you steady burning up my money. Blue. 
record label presenting the diverse faces of America. Soul singers, indigenous people, spoken word, folk, blues, country. It's honest, heartfelt, and close to the ground. It's roots music. Old, new, traditional, fresh. Founder Jim Pugh and the Little Village Foundation search out, discover, and produce diverse American roots artists that are overlooked by the mainstream and might never be revealed to the masses. Usually this is the very first time the artist has been recorded, and this is all done at no expense to the artist at all. Not only is there no expense to the artist, Little Village gives all the proceeds from the sales back to the artist, always. And this all happens through donations of people like you. Come have a look at us. See the people, hear the music, feel the community. Hi everybody, Tommy Castro here. I'm uh, honored and uh, very sad at our loss of, of my good friend, Ron Thompson. It was one of the uh, one of the guys that inspired me right alongside of, you know, like B.B. Like King and Buddy Guy or John Lee Hooker. I put uh, Ron right in the, in the same category with those guys, the, the, the impact that he had on me, probably more than, 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 uh, than most. I I did this John Lee Hooker boogie in my show. Uh, I do it I do it almost almost every night really for years. And and the uh, the inspiration for the, uh, the arrangement the way it goes into a uh, a boogie uh, after after the slow blues section was me uh, trying my best to play like Ron. <laughs> yeah, I I really tried to emulate Ron's style of playing. In there anyway of course Ron sounds like Ron and I sound like me but that that's where the inspiration came from and uh, it's, it's probably uh, of, of my whole show it's probably the coolest thing I do all night and I like to thank uh, my friend Carolyn Phillips for taking care of Ron all these years making sure that he could get to gigs and got to doctor's appointments and we were all able to have him uh, around for a while longer I think because uh, because of her selflessness and she just really stepped up and for a long time. And uh, thanks a lot, kid. Anyway, a tribute to Ron Thompson. Now, Tommy T.C. Castro. <laughs> I quit. Can I get paid now? <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm the only T.C. here. Cole man, Tony. Right. Don't be T.C. and me with T.C. All right. Check this out. This is my main man. We got the same initials, y'all. I said, I'm a man. He's Tommy T.C. Castro. <laughs>
Ese es mi Ese es mi rap of supper Ese es mi right to be alone Cause in my mind I'm living People in the days that pass and gone I see a woman She make me think of my Every time, every time She made me think of my
send me right people to be alone. Hey, this is Tony TC Coleman. I, it's COVID-19, but I'm, I'm just, there's nobody around. I'm gonna take my mask off and tell you something about Ron Thompson. The baddest cat I ever seen play slide guitar and everything like that. Ron had so much energy and he would commit. He was committed to playing and just satisfying everybody. I love playing with Ron. He was awesome. That's all I gotta say about it. Hey y'all, it's me, Tony TC Coleman. What's your name, man? Gary. What is it? Gary Rosen. Oh, you didn't have to say all both of them. Gary Rosen and Tony T.C. Cole, man. We got a dollar and a quarter, just rare in the cloud. But don't let nobody pay us cheap. We got 50 cents more.
Jim Pugh. Uh, I, like a lot of people, knew Ron for a long time. And uh, we played together off and on for years, and then years later we played again for years and years. Uh, if I tell you a short story, uh, famous mythology is that when Stevie Ray Vaughan first came to California, he told a friend of mine, Kenny Dale Johnson, he said, I want to be taken to see Ron Thompson. He's the only guitar player worth hearing in California. That's what I've heard. He was a huge Ron Thompson fan. Ron's energy, his virtuosity, and his real soulful voice separated him pretty much from everybody. I remember doing gigs with him, an organ trio with me and my friend Kenny Dale Johnson and, uh, and Ron and Terry Hank. And it was just, it was some of the best music. We did it for years every Sunday at a club in San Francisco. And for years, it was some of the best music that I cherished the most. I'm sorry that he's gone, but I'm happy to spend the time with him when he was here. My name is Marcel Smith, and I consider it an honor to be a part of this tribute to uh, Thompson. And that's how I feel, which is one that he used to do. And I just feel honored. My condolences and, and love is with the family and all his fans. So, you know, onward and upward, keep safe. Love you guys, you know. Till we see each other again on a real festival, a real gig, y'all stay blessed. One more and then we're done. Hey, I wanna just tell you, Ron Thompson was my friend and I miss him and I love him. And we're doing this for Ron Thompson, the memory of Ron Thompson, doing these COVID days. So y'all, let's celebrate Ron, okay? That was bad mother manga manga. First time I met Ron, he said, yeah, man, yeah. You wanna sit in? Yeah. Cool. Cool. I said, yeah, man, I want to sit in with you. Yeah, let me ask the drum. Hey, hey, man, look, uh, uh, this guy here, man, he played with B.B. King. Uh, you want to let him sit in? He said, I said, yeah, cool. Then Ron said, okay, let's sit in. That's the way it was. All night, I lost 10 pounds on that show. <laughs> anyway. And next, y'all, let's hear it for him with his gospel soulfulness, Mr. Marcel Smith.
feel. Let me tell you this one more thing. If I go a million miles away, I write you a letter each and every day. Call you on the telephone. So when I go to sleep, I won't feel alone. I tell you. Tony Coleman? Yeah, let's see you do that one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, everybody that I just announced ain't shit. I'm the only one that's good. Tony Coleman, that's me. <laughs> that's me. I'm not I'm the only one. Not Jim Pew, nobody, just me. <laughs> okay. Now, the next person. What that don't don't, don't take keep that. Don't, don't keep that. I'm fucking wrong. Don't do that. Oh, man, next you, person you, you don't know, but if you say it, if you don't redo, don't, you're not keeping that. I already got enough people to like my ass. Oh, you want to do another one? All right, do another one. So, you gonna, I know your ass. You're going to keep it, aren't you? It's already <laughs> on the internet. I, damn it, Pew. <laughs> wow. Hey, y'all. Hey, Pew, don't keep it. It's, he's the one that's filming. I'm not Oh, okay. I know you're going to keep it, asshole. <laughs>